Good morning friends, welcome to my new vlog from Moscow. It's going to be Christmas vlog, now it's December 4th and it's already quite snowy now and yeah, Moscow became super beautiful so I decided to show you it, also to tell you more about my life because I haven't talked I think with you for a month already so it's time to make a kind of personal vlog. <laughs> Guys, I'm Emma Sreddy and I'm already in a hurry, but let me show you firstly my apartment. I have a one room apartment and here is my room where I live, where I sleep. And it's spacious enough, what is cool. And of course I put there my paintings, which are painted with oil and happy about it. As you see here, there are a few things and there was a painting, but it looked really vulgar. I didn't like it and I decided to paint something myself to make it like feel like a home, you know. In front of my bedroom, there is a door to the bathroom. It's actually quite small, but for me it's ok, it's not a problem. Then you see a kitchen, and by the way, it's for Moscow standards, it's quite big and I'm happy because in my previous apartment it was really small. I pay for this apartment 36,000 rubles per month. Uh, I can't say it's worth it because it's kind of far away from the underground and also not so close to the city center. I believe there are better options close to the city center, but I needed to live in this district so I can help my parents to walk with the dog. And actually one of the reasons, the main reason why I stayed now in Russia, because my mom asked me to help with the dog, to walk with him sometimes. So uh, yeah. I, I can't say I'm super happy about this apartment, to be honest, but it's okay. For the six month, it's a good option. I don't know why, but all days in Moscow it's usually super great and on a day when you make a video it's all the time sun, don't believe it, <laughs> it's quite great usually. And again I'm coming to the classes of painting to my favorite teacher who lives in an incredible house. To be honest, I didn't finish the painting at that day, I did it only two weeks later, but just look at the results, not bad, right? Okay, I'm very very happy, it was amazing, I love this piece of process, I get so much energy from it. And now we are going to place, uh, I already showed you this and yeah, probably I should have come to a new one. But I feel like going there and also my teacher Jana, she has an exhibition in this cafe and yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> and that day I decided to go for a walk and the day before it was quite warm so that day it became colder and the roads were all in ice so I almost fell down a few times. I already can feel that in two hours when everything gonna be dark, it's gonna be incredible. And we are going to the Red Square after my lunch. And I know that uh, there are Christmas markets because uh, last year they, they didn't put it there because of COVID. Now we are walking in Kitai Gor district. It's quite a historical district, so there you can see a lot of old buildings. Sometimes they're really broken, but I believe it brings the atmosphere to it. And again, I came to my favorite cafe in Moscow. Why it's so interesting and unique, I told you in the previous videos. But right now, just look at these paintings. Everything my teacher made. Yeah, they so down to your paintings. I made them. 
In the cafe school itself, I know that every month there are different exhibitions there. And it just starts snowing, what became super atmospheric. And now I just want to bring you to transfer to you this incredible atmosphere of Christmas in Moscow. Look guys, what is inside there? So cool. In offense, I never can go from uh, elderly people who are selling something on the street because I understand that they're doing it because they don't have money. And I saw this really, really nice granddad and he was selling really Soviet pages. I think it's called like that. Uh, they're super atmospheric, so of course I decided to help a little bit and buy something from him. He was so adorable, he was so nice. And <laughs> I decided to, uh, to send one of these beige, really Soviet old beige, to one of you. So just make any comment. Beige. And in one, two weeks, I will choose one person and gonna send this to him. Спасибо вам огромное. До свидания. I decided to buy that one, uh, but with another color, so I'm gonna order it now online and it will be at home in one week. I'm so excited, dreams came true, you really. know? I dreamed about this, I think, all my life, I mean, like, in the last 10 years, for sure. And now I know what I'm going to spend my money for. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, hey. Hey guys, it's a nice Sunday evening around 7 p.m. and in 30 minutes my beautiful guests are coming to me. So I started preparing the dinner. I'm gonna cook some grilled chicken and boiled potato, uh, boiled. I'm not so sure about this and also a few salads so I'm waiting for them <laughs> the dinner is ready cameras are on <laughs> So girls, bon <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're hardcore at the government schools. I'm not allowed to say no. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. Um, it was incredible sunrise. I woke up one hour before my alarm because all my room was like just in the right color. It was incredible. I think it's one of the best sunrises I've seen in Moscow for a while. 
and yeah it's really sunny now it looks really beautiful but it's a trap because it's minus 17 degrees celsius right now and we are going ice skating with my friend probably it's a mistake since it's minus 17 one more time but <laughs> we will see i'm putting a lot of clothes on me so hopefully i will not um i will not begin in morning sorry i haven't drank coffee yet I will not feel cold, like I wanted to say different thing, but anyways. I would also like to advise you this branch of bakeries called French Bakery. You can see it a lot in Moscow and it's really delicious there. And guys, it's really cheap. For example, coffee, croissant and eclair cost me around $6. going to ice rink i had some business to do in the city center and after it i went for lunch and for short walk but too cold to be outside a long time i just went for a short walk now it's already time to go to Wedenha park which is my favorite park in moscow but now the city center yeah it's super atmospheric love really love walking there don't love the weather though <laughs> This building that you see, it's a Hotel Cosmos, which we can translate as space. And uh, actually, it's the most famous hotel in Moscow, but one of the worst because it's really like Soviet Union there. Wow. It's like from the show, how do you call it in English? You just said from Bali. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> to see this gorgeous building and actually uh, it's my document it's a government place that where we go to take some documents to renew the passport like I go there a few times per year when I need something just came there I wanted to record just the entrance and the lady who works she just said no just come inside it's so beautiful you will you will not regret it the lady was right it's really nice day and no regrets coming inside By the way, these buildings that you see behind the ice ring, they were all renovated recently, looked amazing, nothing so special inside, but outside just wow. <laughs> amazing look of Sofia. <laughs> Guys, it's a fail because we can buy only tickets only online to the ice ring and the website says that there were only 176 places and of course like this ice skating it's the biggest in Europe uh, yes and obviously I mean there are more places and I just go to the guard and he said like the website is lying in fact they're gonna be around 17 15 thousand people <laughs> but because of COVID they just started to be like that so yeah we're coming next week probably with him Perhaps better like next time planning more yeah <laughs> <laughs> this day it's already not so cold and yesterday there was a huge snowfall so all the trees all in snow magical the ticket costed 500 rubles are you excited so excited <laughs> 
she's done. Okay, I have not ice skating for two years. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm so happy. It's amazing. Along the ice rink, there are some spots where you can have a rest and also drink something hot. Oh, well, time for some hot chocolate and yeah. Amazing, I really really miss it. I'm so sad that I don't go there often because like when you live in Moscow you see it every day of your life, it's like becoming normal. Спасибо. to you but in fact when they built first yeah i think it was around five six years ago uh, they decorate all this space with, like santa claus different decorations it was amazing so now for me it's like oh, normal <laughs> not so great but it was the first day so guys there you can see bickering and here next to the this beautiful fountain there is a small one and if i'm not making a mistake this fountain there are representatives of all like uh, republics that been in soviet union what can we say guys we're super happy that we couldn't make it on saturday because it was minus 17 we would die <laughs> And because now it's minus four, minus five, and it's already really cold. Small reality. How do you feel? Cold. I would also like to add here that it's really worth walking around the park and not just going to ice rink because it's so decorated now. In the beginning, I planned to finish this video differently, but then I just decided to sit and talk with you especially it's 24th december so guys merry christmas to everybody i really hope you will spend this day and the weekend amazingly with your family with your loved ones and even though if you're gonna be alone uh please just spend these days as you want to doing things that you love um and i really hope that your year was it was really great amazing i know that i repeat this word too often i should stop it <laughs> And speaking about English, yeah, I'm starting an English course. I decided it's going to be the best investment. Um, I really like it. I didn't study it a lot this December because of work. I was really busy. But hopefully on January, I will have time to study it more. Ah, by the way, the painting. Yeah, I love it. I expected it to be not so dark. Uh, or I don't know, like I forgot that there was, I was thinking it should be a little bit darker. But yeah. I love it. <laughs> and as for me, I saw some comments when you were saying like, oh, I have an amazing life, like because I record usually some interesting things. But the truth about December, uh, I was working all day long, uh, all days long, like from the morning until the evening, sometimes until midnight. And on Saturday, I was filming the video. And on Sunday, I was editing the video. So basically, in the since the beginning of november i had only one day off it was uh last sunday when i got sick and i think i got sick uh because like i'm not i'm not having rest like at all <laughs> so the goal for the next year sometimes have days off where i don't feel where i don't work and just spending time for myself sometimes you know even doing nothing just lying in bed so this is real goal for me i also really hope to go on vacation uh and don't film that just i don't know chill uh lying on the beach drinking the cocktail eating watching tv show in the evening and nothing because i just realized that uh since i started youtube channel in the last two and a half years 
I never had a trip somewhere, a vacation where I didn't film. I film all the time, so I, sh uh, I should have more days off. And if you feel me, if you feel the same, so I'm telling you guys, don't repeat my mistakes, uh, have days off because it's also better for your health. I got sick last month, I got sick now, so like self-care is the priority. Um, and yeah, so all, all my days I was just working, it's not that interesting. Uh, I'm just trying to do some interesting things to show you differently, like different part of Russia, also my life. <sighs> so yeah, don't think that everything is so magical. <laughs> it's also simple, I'm just a casual person. Um, so I don't know, like all the first now I'm mixing my head and I don't want to like stop it or record different things. I want to be like more, you know, like talk to you more live. Um, it was a difficult year. I got really tired. Uh, I hope next year is, I know it's going to be also dif difficult, but I hope in a good way. And yeah, I will keep you posted about everything, not telling anything now. You'll see along the way with me. And I just really wanted to say thank you for being with me all this year, like for your kind words, for your support. Trust me, it means a lot. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just want to, I don't know, if you, this feeling when you feel like you're gonna drop your hands, like no energy for anything, but your comments, your amazing support just really cheers me up every time. So thank you so much. Uh, you also made my year to be so good. And guys, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to push the like button and please leave a comment so YouTube algorithm promote my video to new people. And yeah, I will see you probably already in the new year or next week anyways.